With the True Caller app, you can see the name of the person calling you even when they are not saved in your contacts. True Caller notifies you about spam calls and text messages with the option to block them. However, there are some critical limitations to the True Caller app. Any person can claim any name they want. There is no name verification. Any True Caller user can edit your name or add your name as spam. And above all, you can remove your name and phone number from the True Caller database, as we will show in this video. So, is it still worth using True Caller when anyone can completely delete their name from the app and make you not see them? We're about to find out. Hey, welcome back again to Smart Depot. How good does it feel to know the name of any unknown caller that calls your phone number? It should feel awesome. And that is the promise that the True Caller app delivers to millions of its users worldwide. They have become so good at it that the contact name not stored in your phone show up while you are still typing the number in their daily app. When I used the True Caller several years ago, it was just a single app that gives the name of callers not stored in your phone. Sooner, they built their own dialer and SMS app. And now, they have merged the three apps to become one, and that's not all. You have to make the True Caller your Android phone's default dialer default SMS app and default spam blocker before you can use the app right now. Why must TrueCaller be the default dialer and SMS and all that before you can even use its services? This app gets to read and possibly record all your calls and SMS and in return give you caller ID of contacts and storing your phone. Is it worth it? I'll leave you to answer that question in the comments section. So while you're pondering your answers, here is a list of all the permissions that TrueCaller gets on your Android phone. If you find this video useful, a sub to the channel will help give us a stronger YouTube identity. And clicking on the like button, wow. That will be very delicious. So back to the video. In my opinion, which may differ from many people out there, I don't think it is worth it for just one reason. So now, watch this. Anyone who wants not to be identified by true color can do it in two simple steps. So it doesn't matter the fact that they promise and they deliver color IDs of people who you don't have in your phone. Anyone who still don't want you to see who they are on True Color can do it in two steps. Number one, deactivate their True Color account, and number two, unlist their phone numbers from True Color records. And it's simple. To deactivate your account, go to Setting, Privacy Center, and click on Deactivate. But mind you that deactivating does not remove your name <laughs> from True Color Records. It's actually the step two that completely removes your name from the record. And that is to unlist your phone number from True Color Database. To unlist your phone number from True Color Database, you have to visit this URL truecolor.com forward slash unlisting. I'm going to put the link in the description for those who may not be able to catch. Now, there are two things you can do in this page. You can search to see if your number is in True Colors database. Now, this requires you to sign in with Google or Microsoft account, and you have about five numbers to search in a day for that free. If you're a premium account user, you can search as long as you want. But Secondly, or which is actually the direct thing I recommend, you could just add the number you want to unlist from True Color Records straight into the phone number input, accept the capture, and unlist it. 
It could take about 24 hours for the records to clear out of TrueColor database and then nobody will see your name or any name to your number on TrueColor. And that's it. Your number won't show up again in any TrueColor app. So, till I see you next time, peace out. Subscribe. I see you. Hey, call. Hey, my daddy, call. Hey, my daddy, call. Hey, my daddy, call.